Hi Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the end of December, the last part of this month and the last part of this year. I hope everyone had an amazing holiday and we are going to get into your recent past, your current energy in the near future and then we're going to take a peek at your person's energy, whoever's on your mind and your energy. So if you are returning, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. I am available for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the info's in the description box below this video or in my about section of my channel. So this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is, you know, general. So it may not resonate for everyone who watches. Okay, let's see what's going on for you guys. All right, so in the recent past, we have the King of Pentacles with the Empress. Wow. Okay. Two very strong energies right there. Assign them to whoever, but there's something really powerful going on between you and somebody else. We'll get into it in just a moment. The Fool's in reverse. And then in the current energy, we have the Five of Wands in reverse with the Knight of Cups, the Six of Wands in reverse. In the near future, we have the Four of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Love it and the Hierophant in reverse. So the overall energy is mm, the Ten of Wands. You could be feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now. It doesn't mean that everything in your life is chaos and difficult, but it does feel like there's something that has been weighing you down just a tad. It could be just the energy of this week with the holidays and everything going on. You could feel a little bit overwhelmed. I just heard work, so you could have a, a really heavy workload right now. It's not gonna be for everybody. But it does feel like things are piling up is what I want to say. And right behind that, we have the Nine of Cups. So it could be creating just a little bit of frustration. Frustration, You could feel a little bit emotionally um, drained is what I want to say. Because it really does wear on you. When things start to get overwhelming or you feel overburdened, no doubt your emotions have, it has an effect on them. No doubt. So something is just not making you feel really great in this particular time frame. Let's look at the recent past. So the King of Pentacles with the Empress and then the Fool in reverse. It's like this King of Pentacles is looking, I feel like that's someone else's energy and the Empress is you. You're right in the center of this. Uh, two people who aren't sure possibly if they want to take a chance on something. It does feel like both energies, almost like there's, um, like, how do I want to explain this? So neither of you knows that the other is feeling this way. So if you're in a current relationship and you're just not sure where things are going, I'm going to say neither person wants to make mistakes. Maybe both of you have been through some difficult stuff and you just really want to focus on making sure that this is going to be the right situation. Now, if that's the newer ones. Now, if you're in a current and you've been together for quite some time, I feel like there's something the two of you want to do together, but you can't quite take that leap. Some of you, it could be settling down, moving in, buying a home, making big changes is what it feels like. So your person's energy feels very stable. And I think you are the Empress energy, masculine or feminine, doesn't matter which gender you are. And you know what you really want. And that's important because a lot of people really don't know what they want. They think they do. So your person feels stable and reasonable. And you feel like, I really want this in a sense, you kind of want it your way. Not that that's bad. Um, I think this person will go along with whatever you want. So if you're concerned about that, I wouldn't be so much. It's just a matter of not wanting to make the wrong choice. So we'll clarify that in just a moment. Now, in the current energy, that was in the recent past that you could have been dealing with that. Now, in the current energy, the five of wands in reverse with the knight of cups and the six of wands in reverse says... I don't think you want to feel like things are difficult. And I know that sounds so blasé, but it makes sense because the night is like, I just want to move kind of slowly with this. I'd like to be emotionally involved. Um, I am concerned because things have not worked out in the past, so I don't want to move too quickly. I definitely don't want something that creates a lot of conflict or difficulty in my life. So I think success, as far as a relationship is concerned, means to you taking your time. 
Now, there's something else that I feel like you have passion towards or love towards, something that's emotionally on your mind. It doesn't always have to be about a relationship. This could be something that you're seeking in your life that hasn't quite come to fruition. So if you're working on something or you have a personal desire for something that really does bring you fulfillment emotionally, I think they want you to continue to focus on that. And don't let any kind of past failures or things that you'd felt like didn't work in the way that you had hoped they would, don't let that or the conflict from that situation get in the way of what you you desire. Because I do feel like whatever this is fulfills you in a way that maybe something else or other things have not in your life. So it could be work, it could be a project, just something that you really desire to do. It could just be something outside of either of those situations. You may really enjoy exercise or, or traveling or going to new places and that's fulfilling to you. And that's important for you to do in order for you to stay on track. Totally separate message. Now in the near future, we have the Four of Wands in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant. There's a fear that money isn't going to be enough. And the Ten of Pentacles says it is going to be there. So if you've lost faith that that's coming, Please don't because it is. Things are going to work out that way. The stability is coming, especially if this is within a relationship because I do think that the two of you, if you are with this partner, will be very successful together. This could also be a partnership in business where you're not sure that things would work out and maybe you've lost faith that it will actually get the momentum that it needs. But I feel like, the, again, that this is saying it's going to work out. So just please don't lose faith that it will. Now the Hierophant in reverse can be a couple of different things. I think there's a few things that you need to um, research a little bit more that would help push you forward, would push this situation forward and make it more successful. You're going to know what that is. All right, let's clarify this and look at the King of Pentacles with the Empress. This is for Virgo. All right. So we have the Ace of Swords. So yes, there's something that you need to make this decision about. I feel like both of you want the clarity before you do take a chance. And that makes perfect sense. You want to be sure mentally. It isn't really about emotions in this particular decision. So you want to be clear that the choice that you're going to make is going to work out for you. You just don't want to make mistakes like you may have in the past. All right. Let's see with the Empress and the Fool in reverse. Then we have the Star card. So this is a wish. This, there's something that you've been hoping for. Um, I feel like it's the two of you together. Whether this is a business partnership and you're hoping that things are going to work out and you just can't see the big picture just yet. Um, the caution that you're both taking I think is smart. Don't stop dreaming about what it is that you want. Because even though it seems as though things aren't moving in the current energy, they will, and they're going to be successful. So I don't see anything about not having patience. I think you do. Just don't lose hope. There's definitely some healing energy around this, and I think that's going to come when you make the decision that you need to or you get the clarity that you need to have in order to uh, move forward with it and not be afraid of taking chances. All right, so the Five of Wands with the Knight of Cups. And then we have the Page of Swords. So, all right, hold, hold on. I want to touch in with this energy. This feels like child type energy. You could be dealing with uh, people that come across as a little bit immature. Not the person that you're dealing with, not your partner. This feels like outside energy. For those of you who have a younger sibling, that younger sibling could be a little challenged right now. Maybe they're having difficulty finding what makes them happy. So you could be a supportive person in their life. That's a separate message. Or it's a child that has difficulty sometimes really opening up about how they're feeling. And I think you're emotionally invested in making sure that they find the success that they need in their lives. For others of you, could this be somebody that um, pays attention to you? Sure. You could have eyes on you right now. And that's a good thing because it tells me that whatever it is that you're seeking, this is energies of people outside of you that see what you're doing. So don't think that other people aren't appreciating whatever it is that you bring to the table because they do. 
All right, the Knight of Cups with the Six of Wands in reverse, the Devil. I think this is you needing to release some of those fears that you have about this being successful, whether it be the partnership or a business. And it feels very business oriented, so I'm just going to say that. Um, this is also deep passion. I'm not picking up anything really toxic from it. You may fear that people are seeing things from the wrong perspective or that they have the wrong idea about you and what you're trying to accomplish. Or maybe there were people that also tried to hold you back in the past. Don't worry about the, the naysayers, please. There's always going to be somebody that has an opinion about what you're doing. None of their business. This is just basically spirit saying, don't let go of those really deep, fiery, passionate feelings that you have towards it. Let it drive you. Even if there are people who, naysayers that say, oh, you can't do it. Let that drive you. Seriously, because I see the success coming for you. Now, the Four of Swords in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles, we have the strength. So, exhaustion definitely in the near future from having driven so hard. Fear sometimes can also create a sense of, ugh, I'm just tired. I don't know if I have the energy to keep going. They're saying get out of your head, though, and don't allow those things to weigh you down. Because the, this, I just keep wanting to say the same thing. The success is coming. I really feel it in the partnership. All right, let's look at the Ten of Pentacles with the Hierophant. Yeah, see, the Queen of Wands is regaining your, um, not just your passion, but this is saying you really know who you are and what you're doing. So even at times when you're tired, you don't give up. And that's the energy that I think they're trying to portray the most in this, is don't give up on what you know is right. Because you know who you are and you know what you stand for. And even at times when you feel a little weighed down by other people's energy or thoughts or things like that, it's not going to make a difference in your desire to continue to move forward because you know success is inevitable for you. I think it's an underlying knowing. Even if there are fears at times that you can't really continue because you're so tired, they're saying, no, nah, you've got this. Every day is a new day. So just remember when you wake up knowing that you're going to continue to put in all the effort that you need to in order to make this successful, that's all the energy that you need. Okay, I'm going to clear this and we will get into the person that is on your mind. So think about them for just a moment while I clear this. And let's see what energy wants to stay on the top. Okay, the full. So yes, there's a sense of not wanting to make mistakes not wanting to take chances, um, being cautious is what I feel like you are right now. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you and your person. This is for Virgo. Okay, so your person's energy, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So you have someone who's not, this is, <laughs> Okay, what an oxymoron. This person's energy is like they're not moving forward, but they want success in the relationship. They see you as their person. Yeah, they're definitely not putting in the effort right now. Um, okay, so they have a bit of vulnerability when it comes to you. And I think you know this. Uh, they do want to be in the relationship. They want you in their life. Your energy is the two of wands. I think you have more of a fear that it won't go anywhere. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Overall, energy is the justice. So there will be balance found in the relationship. Let's see what's behind that. The Three of Cups. So right now, it doesn't feel like there's too much to be jumping up and down about. But I do feel like there will be balance restored. So if this person's not really making an effort right now, or they seem a little bit emotionally kind of shut down, or they're not showing you how they feel, this is how they really feel. They want this to be successful. Right now, I don't know that they have the energy to work on things the way that they should, but they're feeling a little bit vulnerable. Something's going on in their life. There's a reason why they're holding back. I don't think it's a lack of feelings for you. If I thought that, I'd tell you, because it's important. You know, if you guys are seeking advice of some sort, if I can pick up the, the type of energy and you know, it helps you make choices. I don't want you to rely on this, obviously, for life decisions, but it can be something that feels recognizable and you could say, yeah, that does make sense. And okay, maybe they want success in the relationship, but they're just not moving towards it. They're not taking the actions 
and that's okay. Of course, you have to make a choice whether you want to wait on that if they're not putting in the effort. And it could just be a temporary thing. Now, your energy is not being able to see the future. If this is not creating the kind of stability or you're feeling like you need to be independent of it, I think you could talk to this person about how you're feeling. If you don't feel comfortable that way or maybe they're not communicating and you're just kind of holding back, I understand because you just don't want to carry the weight of the relationship yourself. If they're not carrying their weight, I can see where you'd want to pull back because you don't want to be the sole um, provider of emotions or everything else in the relationship. So right now I think you're feeling like, I don't know where this is going. You're questioning that. There will be balance restored. So that's a good thing if you want it to be. I think they want success with you. Let's see. There's something else going on with your person though. I, I feel like there's someone, not someone else. I just feel like there's something else that's holding them back or making them feel like they don't have the energy to give to the relationship right now. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. That could be it. It could be that they're dealing with their own personal stuff, whether it be um, addictions like actual addictions or if they just have a tendency to be in relationships because they just need a, a warm body. There's some kind of issues with them. I don't feel or sense that it's with you. Wedding, the situation involves marriage. It could, for some of you, be a marriage. Um, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Interesting. If this is someone who's stressed out, this is for some of you. If some of you are about to get married and you feel like your person's pulling away, um, it's their own stuff. I'm going to say that a hundred times until it sinks. It is not you. I think they want to be with you. I think they're dealing with these spiritual things that they don't even understand around their codependency, around what marriage looks like, what being in a long-term relationship looks like. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Clearly, if you're about to get married or you have desires, deep desires to get married to this person, this could be the one for you. Uh, they just need to work through some stuff. Ooh. And then this was upside down. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. Now, if this is somebody brand new in your life and you're wondering, I do think they have a desire to settle down. They just have to work through some old stuff that has held them back about relationships all right sorry my cards are kind of upside down let's see what the advice is for you what's the advice for virgo please so it's stay out of your head don't overthink it too much um pull back from any kind of drama keep your self grounded that good old stable energy that to me is your your card it's capricorn taurus or virgo and then the knight of cups Move slow. Take your time. Even if you've been with this person for a long time, it may just need to be reestablished, rekindled. They're just saying stay as grounded as you possibly can while this works itself out. All right. Let's see. What's next? Let's get the lover's oracle. This is for Virgo. I feel a sense of like, be as free as you possibly can within your relationships. Maintain your independence. That's going to be important. New beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay. Something new. Something's about to shift. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. I agree. And then romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. And I'm not a big fan of that particular card. It doesn't say much. My beloved, though we may physically be apart spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Even if you are within that person's energy and at times you feel like you're separated, you're still connected at the soul level. If you feel that deep connection with them, some of you could be actually apart right now. So take it how it resonates for you. All right, let's get a couple cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle. To close this out, this is... There you go. This has been the card that has come out in all my readings. No matter how much I shuffle, it seems to keep coming out. People are mending the relationships that are really important to them. And if this is one that you want to keep in your life, I can see things working out and being mended. I just keep wanting to say have patience and go with the flow. 
with the two to see. So sevens could be really important for you. There's seven, seven right here. And then we have time to go. I think time to go is leaving behind any old energies that don't need to move forward with you in the relationship. So if this person needs to work out their shit first, let them work it out so that you can close out that cycle. Um, obviously, they need to work on things. And if it's time for you to take a break from them in order to allow them to do that, if you have the patience and the love and desire to, then that's going to be important because these changes need to happen. A leg up. There's another seven for you. Sevens are going to be major. So if you see them on the clock, if you see them on license plate, pay attention because that's going to be a sign for you about your person. It could be that they're a cancer. We do have Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. A lot of fire energy. Leo Sag Aries. Are, those are the major ones I feel right now. Okay, guys, those were your message. I messages. I hope this helped. Thank you so much again for all of your support, your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. If you'd like a personal reading, that's in the info. If I can talk today, description box below or in my about section of my channel. I hope you guys have an amazing end of your year. Um, we'll get into the January reading soon. I love you so much. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next one.